Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Hi, I'm John Holden. Welcome to Earth. We're starting off our show here in Indonesia, off the coast of Sumatra, the island of Belatung. You know, the Indonesian rainforest is one of the most biodiverse places on Earth and home to many endangered animals, many of which are constantly threatened by land conversion and deforestation. But one industry is trying to change all that, including one company here that is truly dedicated to sustainability. Let's take a look. Here in Indonesia, the rainforest is home to many endangered animals, such as the tarsier, a small and carnivorous primate with unusually large eyes. Animals like this are constantly threatened by the pace of deforestation due to human activities, and chief among those agricultural activities are palm oil plantations. This valuable crop, which can only grow in the tropics, is often linked to forest destruction, habitat loss, and soil degradation. But palm oil is also essential for global food security and economic development. Now these are the trees from which palm oil is harvested, trees that can grow up to 45 feet tall. The taller they get, the harder it is to harvest. That's because the actual fruit of the tree is what makes palm oil, and it's from palm oil that some of the most valuable commodities we use every day comes from. So palm oil is mainly used as edible oil, but it's used in cosmetics, detergents, shampoos, the works. It's also used as a biofuel, so you could imagine it touches everybody's lives across the globe. In fact, about half of the world's people rely on palm oil as part of their diets. But the key is to preserve this critical oil's economic vitality while addressing biodiversity and climate change. Palm oil can be produced more sustainably by avoiding deforestation, creating more energy efficient operations, and reducing production waste while conserving the rainforest around it. Sustainability is uh, key because we are not talking about the prosperity of the company, but we're also talking about our impact to the planet and uh, people. Environmental impact uh, because of palm oil production is a serious concern to producers and also to consumers. Uh, but palm oil is a very efficient, versatile, and uh, economical and ubiquitous in our everyday lives. It's four times more productive than any other vegetable oil in the world. So I think cultivating any other vegetable oil will be more detrimental to the environment than palm oil. Sustainable palm oil production is the answer and the solution. Gita Govindan is the Vice President Director of ANJ Group, a large Indonesian agribusiness company that has dedicated itself to managing the environmental impacts of palm oil production and keeping it sustainable. We are not the largest, but we have strong ESG commitments with time-bound plans. And our ESG commitments go way long back, and we were very ambitious. Uh, especially in terms of greenhouse gas emissions and, uh, and about our carbon footprint. We've incorporated all those attributes into our business, which actually commands a very high standard in terms of sustainability going forward. ANJ has a vision to become the world-class agribusiness-based food company that elevates the livelihood of the people and nature. Now, rather than deforestation, ANJ promotes the replanting of oil palms on non-forest areas. And it all starts right here in the middle of the plantation at the ANJ Nursery. What you're seeing actually is a two-stage nursery, oil palm nursery. And these are freshly transplanted in big poly bags. Uh, this will be here for about a period of nine months. And then it'll be transplanted in the field. Here, high atop a hill overlooking the ANJ plantation, you can see endless oil palms as far as the eye can see in virtually every direction. Now, you can't say that ANJ is the largest producer of palm oil, but you can say it's one of the most sustainable producers of palm oil in the world. 
there's a constant increasing demand for edible oils and fat as the population of the globe grows. And for a hungry planet, it's important to have an efficient crop. ANJ even serves as an independent power producer for the Indonesian island with one of its projects, producing renewable energy from palm oil waste. So this is a, a methane capture plant. It converts a, a methane to electrical energy. We supply roughly 1.8 megawatts to the state electrical company. That's approximately 9.9 .9 million kilowatt hours. So part of the island's electric city comes from this plant. And this is generated from palm oil waste. This is not normal, this is not traditional you would see in a plantation group. We embarked on this to reduce our carbon footprint. Everyone at ANGA shares the deep sense that conservation is the soul of this company with its vision of elevating the lives of people while at the same time protecting the rainforest around it and its amazing inhabitants. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.